What does the Bible say about the topic of racism? Foolish interpretations of the Bible have created the misconception that God approves of racism and slavery. This is a collection of scripture quotes exemplifying God's command to judge not by appearance, but judge by right judgment. God created each of us equal, and cares about every single person regardless of skin color. Scripture teaches that God created all human beings in His image. There is no exception to that, and being made in God's image makes each person valuable and precious. There is no hierarchy of human beings demonstrated throughout Scripture. Jesus came so that all may be saved. The Bible makes it clear that racism is wrong and entirely contradictory to God's command to love our neighbors. Now, in Christ, it doesn't matter if you are a Jew or a Greek, a slave or free, male or female. You are all the same in Christ Jesus. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. Stop judging by the way things look. Be fair and judge by what is really right. John chapter 7 verse 24. Peter began to speak, I really understand now that God does not consider some people to be better than others. He accepts anyone who worships him and does what is right. It is not important what nation they come from. Acts chapter 10 verses 34 to 35. God began by making one man, and from him he made all the different people who live everywhere in the world. Acts chapter 17 verse 26. God judges everyone the same. It doesn't matter who they are. Romans chapter 2 verse 11. I give you a new command, love each other. You must love each other just as I loved you. John chapter 13 verse 34. Yes, the scriptures say, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. It says this because there is no difference between those who are Jews and those who are not. The same Lord is the Lord of all people. And he richly blesses everyone who looks to him for help. Yes, everyone who trusts in the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verses 12 to 13. But if you are treating one person as more important than another, you are sinning. You are guilty of breaking God's law. James chapter 2 verse 9. But the Lord said to Samuel, Eliab is tall and handsome, but don't judge by things like that. God doesn't look at what people see. People judge by what is on the outside, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. Be kind and loving to each other. Forgive each other the same as God forgave you through Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. So go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. In this new life it doesn't matter if you are a Greek or a Jew, circumcised or not. It doesn't matter if you speak a different language or even if you are a Scythian. It doesn't matter if you are a slave or free. Christ is all that matters, and he is in all of you. Colossians chapter 3 verse 11. Do for others, what you would want them to do for you. This is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets. Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. Someone might say, I am in the light, but if they hate any of their brothers or sisters in God's family, they are still in the darkness. Point 1 John chapter 2 verse 9. Masters, in the same way, be good to your slaves. Don't say things to scare them. You know that the one who is your master and their master is in heaven, and he treats everyone the same. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 9. Christ is the reason we are now at peace. He made us Jews and you who are not Jews one people. We were separated by a wall of hate that stood between us, but Christ broke down that wall. By giving his own body. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. The same Lord is the Lord of all people. And he richly blesses everyone who looks to him for help. Yes, everyone who trusts in the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10 verses 12 to 13. One law rules over all other laws. This royal law is found in the scriptures, love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. If you obey this law, you are doing right. James chapter 2 verse 8. But whoever hates their brother or sister is in darkness. They live in darkness. They don't know where they are going, because the darkness has made them blind. Point 1 John chapter 2 verse 11. You were all baptized into Christ, and so you were all clothed with Christ. 
This shows that you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Now, in Christ, it doesn't matter if you are a Jew or a Greek, a slave or free, male or female. You are all the same in Christ Jesus. You belong to Christ, so you are Abraham's descendants. You get all of God's blessings because of the promise that God made to Abraham, Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 to 29. He accepts anyone who worships him and does what is right. It is not important what nation they come from. Acts chapter 10 verse 35. They told you, in the last times there will be people who laugh at God and do only what they want to do, things that are against God. These are the people who divide you. They are not spiritual, because they don't have the spirit. But you, dear friends, use your most holy faith to build yourselves up even stronger. Pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. Jude chapter 1 verses 18 to 20. God makes people right through their faith in Jesus Christ. He does this for all who believe in Christ. Everyone is the same. Romans chapter 3 verse 22. God knows everyone, even their thoughts, and he accepted these non-Jewish people. He showed this to us by giving them the Holy Spirit the same as he did to us. To God, those people are not different from us. These people will be saved the same way, by the grace of the Lord Jesus. Then the whole group became quiet. Acts chapter 15 verses 8 to 12. Forget about the wrong things people do to you. Don't try to get even. Love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. A prayer for healing racism. Jesus, you see people as precious and valuable. Lord, I make myself available for you to live that truth through me. If I've wronged anyone, and racism is at the root of that wrong, Father show me what is as I need to do to reconcile Lord, reveal to me, my own prejudices, so that I can seek your repentance. Guide me Lord, to walk in the ways, that lead to true justice. Father God, forgive me for losing sight of the truth that you created all people in your image. By your grace, help me to see hatred, whether initiated or returned, as a tool Satan uses to keep me from experiencing and sharing the richness of your love. Help me to love the way you love and to spread kindness and mercy as Jesus did. In Jesus' name, Amen. God loves every nation, every person, and it is made abundantly clear in Scripture that racism is not compatible with Christianity. As Jesus spoke against racism, so, should we. As God loves all peoples, so, should we. Every person of every race was created by the same God in His image. Everyone.